All right, guys, this is it. This is the magical moment. This is the moment where your life changes. If this makes sense to you, this is going to change the trajectory of your life. Um, this is Chapter 5, Section 4. I am Mrs. Applegar. This is Calculating Simple Interest. When you deposit money into a savings account, you are permitting the bank to use the money. The bank pays interest, the amount of money paid for the use of the lender's money. The most common method for calculating interest is the simple interest formula. This is the interest paid on the original principal, the amount of money earning interest. Simple interest is based on three factors. The principal, which is the amount you originally put in, the annual interest rate, the percent of principal earned as interest in one year, and the amount of time for which the principal is borrowed or invested. Here is the formula for simple interest. Interest equals principal times rate times time, or I equals PRT. Interest equals PERT. Note that this formula expresses the rate as a percent and the time in years or a fraction of the year. So we might be using a little fraction here, guys. If the interest is computed and then deposited into the account, you have a new quantity called the amount. So here's a formula for the amount. Please note what they're going to be asking for, if it's for the interest or if it's for the amount. If it's for the interest, it's one calculation. If it's for the amount, you have to use both of these calculations. The amount is the principal plus the interest that you've earned, or A equals P plus I. Here it is, you guys. If you can get your money to make you money by earning interest, then you know you've made it. Okay, so example one. Joyce Tyler deposits $9,000 into an account that pays an annual 5.5% interest rate. Determine the simple interest and the amount in the account for three years, three months, and three days. We're going to use the interest formula and we're going to use the amount formula. So let's take a peek over here. Oh. This is not, this is for, this is number one for the stuff below. So let's go ahead and do it together. So you guys are going to need a calculator to help calculate this. Um, okay, so we have $9,000, so we're going to answer A first. So we have $9,000. We're going to times it by the interest rate, 5.5%. Make sure you press this on your calculator. And then we're going to times it by the time. This is going to be a fraction of a year. Um, yeah, fraction of a year. So we're going to go three years is three over one year. Okay, so the interest for A. Completely blocked my calculations. Is 9,000 times 5.5% times 3. You can go divided by 1 if you want, just so we can have that down. Okay, so it earns $1,485 in interest. Yay, that's awesome. In three years, our, we've gained almost $1,500 and we have done nothing. Um, but we have to find the amount that's now in our account. So we're going to add 9,000 plus our 1485. Which is $10,000.45. Sorry. 
$10,488. Hello day. Okay. $10,485. All right. So B, we're going to do that same calculation, but we're going to do three months. So it's going to be 9000 times our 5.5% times three months, but what portion of a year is three months? We're going to have to divide by 12 because it's three months out of 12. So when you get months, you divide by 12. And I'll show you what we do when we get days. So again, we bring out our calculator. We go, let me turn it down a little bit. We go 9,000 times 5.5% times three divided by 12, because it's a fraction of a year. It doesn't go the whole year. So in three months, we've earned $123.75. We're going to add that to 9,000 to get the amount in our account. So it's going to be $9,123.75. Okay, one more calculation. We're going to do the same calculation for three days. When you have three days, we have to divide by 365. Because it's a fraction of a year, so, unfortunately, unlike um, our, prob our first problem, it's not just as easy as times it by three. We have to times it by the number of days and then divide it by 365. So that would be times three days divided by 365. So let's see how, many, how much interest we earn in three days. So 9,000 times the 5.5% times 3 divided by 365. So $4.07 is what we earn in three days, not too shabby. So our amount is $4.07 added, like we did here, to our 9,000. So it's 9,000. $4.07 is the amount in our account. All right, let's see how this works for our concept check here. Um, for number one, our principal is $4,000 for six per, we get 6% annually. And we're going to calculate that for four years, four months, and four days. So remember, this one is divide by one, divide by 12, and divide by 365. So let's go ahead and take a peek at these calculations. So we start, so we're up here. I answer number one up here because that was easier. Um, so 4,000 times 6% times four years divided by one is $960. So the amount is 4,000 plus $960. So that's 4,000. $960. So that's for four years. Now we're going to do the four month calculation where the setup is still the same. It's still 4,000 times 6%, but instead we have four divided by 12 because it's a portion of a year. It's not the whole year. And so when we do that in our calculator, we get 80. So then I add the 80 to my original 4,000 and we get 4,080. Okay. Now we're going to do that for the four days. So we go 4,000 times 6% times 4 divided by 365. And please note, you can write the division symbol or you can write it as a fraction. Either way, it gives you the same answer you're going to be hitting divide on your calculator. So when we do that in our calculator, we earn $2.63 in interest. 
So we're going to add that $2.63 to our original $4,000. So we get $4,002.63. Okay, let's see it one more time with number two. Our principal is $6,580. Our interest rate is 6.5% annually. We're going to calculate 10 years, 10 months, and 10 days. So for the 10 years, we're going to just take our straight amount, multiply the amount, the principal, times the rate, times 10. So we get $4,277 is our interest earned. We're going to add that to our 6580 So the total in our account is now $10,857. So now we're going to do that same calculation but for 10 months. So we have the times by 10, but because it's months, we're going to divide by 12. So 6580 times 6.5% 6 times 10 divided by 12. $356.42, then add that to your original amount, and your grand total is $6,936.42. Now we're going to do it for 10 days. So again, you have your principal, your interest rate, and we're going to times it by the 10, but divide by 365. We make in 10 days $11.72. So we add that back to our original amount, and our total in our account is $6,591.72. Okay? All right, now you get to do the lesson practice. Pause, answer all these questions, unpause, and check your answers. Make sure you have them all correct. And don't forget to show your work. All right, that's all for this session. Have an amazing day. Bye.